I did not know very much of, about sponges, and it took some time for me to understand that this was what I was cleaning my car with. I came here to this place, the Department of Oncology, Karolinska, in 1975, so it's a long time ago. From that time, I found many, many interesting fields to work in, both uh, in drug development and in uh, radiotherapy. But I find many other areas extremely interesting, even psychiatry is interesting, which is so totally different. But So uh, people are interesting. <laughs> we try to find uh, new drugs by different methods, one of which is now collaborating with other scientists, scientists in marine bi biology, for example. But I think that we are approaching a new era where we are hitting in a better precision way uh, those tumors that can benefit or those patients that can benefit from certain therapies. So this is called uh, the new era of personalized cancer medicine, but it's gradually changing name to the precision uh, cancer medicine. We see that there are Achilles heels, and it's a little bit surprising also because there are many signals. There are many mutations in tumors, and you would expect a high degree of redundancy that would not uh, permit uh, these Achilles heels to show up. But you see them, and this, is, uh, this provides optimism for finding more of these Achilles heels and also to see whether we would find new natural products that can be used for attacking these uh, specific signals. I met uh, the first researcher, Michael Ann, uh, by chance through a, another friend who was working with me, who recommended me to take contact with him, and I think it has been a great collaboration and great time together. Substances from the marine world would be of great interest, and it's uh, so that many substances that, that still are at use today have come from marine um, natural compounds. Today, probably more than 1,000 new drugs marching through the pipelines of different uh, institutions and uh, big pharmas uh, for validation and evaluation. And all these drugs attack different uh, targets. It's a complex area. Again, you need the interaction between the uh, basic scientists and the clinicians, and the clini because the clinicians can point at uh, which areas are uh, those that are in the highest need of a specific new therapy and how you should combine. So, on the other hand, you still need basic biology because it cannot only be translational with the clinicians. And coming back to marine biology, I think it's of great interest to understand how different organisms in the sea, how they defend themselves, for example, against attacks and how they attack other organisms. So a lot can be learned from the different fields and that, that might bring up totally new mechanisms to work on also in humans. Yes, I'm satisfied with the many years I've spent in this. I'm surprised that we came so far and I can really see a difference for the patient. I would say there are a few occasions where you feel, you have the, the feeling that you're taking large uh, leaps ahead, actually.